It took just seconds for this Lamborghini's roar to turn into a Lamborghini wreck. Police dash cam video shows the powerful sports car's front end smashed to pieces. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally picking up our brand new build. We got about seven hours to drive. It's around five in the morning right now. We're headed to Tampa, Florida. So let's hit the road. Hopefully we get there on time. So there was a just standstill traffic pretty much on the highway. So we try to go a different route. We're going a shortcut right here, some dirt roads. I don't know where this is gonna take us, but there ain't no turning back. There's only backing out. Yeah. And there ain't no way we're gonna back out with that trailer. So we're gonna keep on going and hopefully we we make it out. I can't believe there's still roads like this in America. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? But we're gonna keep on moving here. Yeah, yeah, dude, dang. this is sketchy. Hopefully we just don't get stuck. Bro, what do them signs? <laughs> what do them signs mean, though? We're in full send mode. We survived the treacherous journey. Yeah, finally, back on a, on a real road. On a real road. He successfully checked off a shortcut right there. Yeah, man. so I think that was a lot faster than uh, sitting in that standstill. Oh, yeah, that was a dead standstill. Dude, look at this. Look at the highway now. Hey, it's moving, so we're gonna head to Florida. Puerto Rico. <laughs> man, it is beautiful out here, but I think we are very close about. Seven minutes. Seven minutes away, so we're about to pull up on these boys over here in Tampa, Florida. Never been out here, so this is a very unique experience. The weather is amazing out here. Kind of want to live out here. Dude, this is awesome, dude. We're definitely gonna move down here for sure. <laughs> for sure, man. That's Got amazing. to. Look at that. Got here. I think that's the ocean. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's like a bay or something. No, that is. That's the, that's really? the ocean. Yeah. Which ocean is that? Specific? <laughs> this is the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Specific ocean. Specific. Look at that. Look at these nice ponds. I bet you could just reel in bass and whatever all day long. Every day, all day. Can you see them? Dang, look how they, what the heck? Dude, they stack I've never these seen that. Up. They stack these cars up, so. This is gonna be pretty cool. Guys, we already spotted it. Look at that. Oh, Man, that thing is bad. Like I'm talking about, awesome. Let's just stop right here. Go, go do this. Go do the normal thing. Pay the people. Let's go. You're about to get a fat check, so they better be happy. I know, right? I'm excited. Let's go. Can't waste no time because we got a long drive back, guys. So we are officially Lamborghini owners right here. 2016 Lamborghini Huracan, dude. This is super crazy. I'm still in shock right now that we're. At we own a Lamborghini. Right, it's crazy, and, man. Uh, because like a year ago, we were jobless, so this is just insane for us. We, I mean, I'm speechless right now. <laughs> yeah, me As too, you can dude. tell, I'm like stuttering and stuff. So I'm about to give them the form. We heard a bunch of crazy things about it from the people inside that actually know who wrecked it, and they do have a video, we'll, guys. We'll share that later. We'll share that later. So let's go ahead. I'm excited to get this thing on the trailer. So let's give them that pull-out form and get this Lambo loaded up. If anybody wants a California, it needs to be cleaned up though, but we're gonna sneak over here to this Lamborghini though. This will work. Yeah. That's the wheel. That's the front wheel. Dang, that is insane. That's the wheel for it right there? Yep. Um, and that's that's the pile of yeah, we're gonna need when, we, when we got it, they had that stuff all jammed inside. I'm like, why? Why would Yeah, that's what, I, that's what we were talking about. Hopefully they didn't mess up the seats. Yeah, well, this, this, everything's still in pretty decent condition. There was a there was a kid out here yesterday with one of the loaders. Uh, no, you know what? Not him. The suspension is still intact. Is it's it? still there. I, I put the I put the uh, disclaimer on there just because it covers us. Yeah. But like I said, she 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 hit this thing pretty hard. Yeah, I seen that video. That's crazy. Dude, that's insane. We got a good headlight here, which is around 
five grand. Yeah, I know, right? One headlight. Front end is here, all here, just like aluminum brackets, whatnot. Hood, hood's done. But this side looks good, though. Yeah, we're gonna try to get as much second-hand parts as possible. Yeah. Got a pile of parts here. Man. This thing is gonna be sick. sounds but it is what it is look at that guys looks sick you knew that was they seen the clean shoes he's like <laughs> I hate when they load from the bottom I know, I know. you can't do nothing about it Get her set up right. Um, what do you think? Dude, this is awesome. Let's go grab all the miscellaneous pieces that they got left over. Oh yeah, we need all these little bits and pieces, man, for yeah, sure. So I may have to put the camera down and just try to grab as much things as I can and throw it in the back of the truck. Let's do it, man. Let's collect all this. Alrighty, guys. So we got her strapped up. So we're going to hit the road and start heading back home. Pulled over at the gas station, but got a little crowd going on here. Look at this, guys. That sucks. But we're going to get some fuel and we're going to hit the road again and head yeah, back man. home, man. Head back it's, home. It's getting too much. It's getting a lot of attention, so I know everybody's going to like it. All right, guys, so we're finally back, and we're about ready to unload this thing. But before we do that, you know how we like to wash our cars before they get into the garage. So let's go ahead and give this a quick wash and then unload it. Guys, now that we got it all washed up, the real challenge is going to be trying to get this thing off the trailer because, as you know, one of the wheels is damaged. It pretty much is broke in half, like the outer piece broke off of the inner piece. So we're going to try to figure something out, and hopefully we can get this thing possibly started. What do you think? Maybe. Hopefully started. Hopefully we can throw the booster on it and see if it'll yeah, crank man, right nice. up. But... That'd be nice if we could just drive it off, but if not, we're going to pop it in neutral and roll it off. So let's Hopefully try we can roll it off because that wheel is pretty bad. So let's yeah. back it up towards the garage. We do have a winch set up. If some of you guys know we did set up a winch on one of our bays so let's back this trailer up and try to get this lambo let's off do it. All right, so it's getting pretty dark on us but we're trying to get it off because we got to return this trailer that we borrow but we couldn't find a torx fit large enough but we managed to find something close enough where it could break them free and which was a t70 right yep it calls for a t80 sucks these cars don't come with it but we managed to find a t70 from around our area couldn't find a t80 in store anywhere so but it worked came off pretty easily now oh Dang. man yo what if we welded this to the broken rim and rolled it off that way if we had a strong enough welder we do have a volkswagen spare tire here and you know, same lug pattern right same lug pattern so hopefully this thing will fit let's test it test it out we may have to remove that caliper the caliper looks so we're probably gonna remove this caliper and hang it up here so we don't have to break the line loose and uh, repump these calipers. But if we have to, we're gonna remove it. Anyway, we gotta get this car off. So let's get this caliper loosened up, hang it up here, and hopefully we have enough room to throw this Volkswagen wheel on it because it looks to be the same <laughs> lug pattern. So hopefully it works, fingers crossed. Let's get this thing off. Never broken, ever. First time since the factory unless they change the brakes pads since then i mean but... this, there's only seven thousand miles on the car yeah. so unless be... they were on it hard which it don't look like the, the pad i mean the rotors look phenomenal dude oh they're a lot really yeah now uh, what we need to do is throw a piece of two by four in here so we can actually use the brakes 
because uh, we're gonna need the brakes to roll it off. And uh, if you put a two by four right here, they won't completely compress. They'll just stay opened and won't mess up your brakes. So yeah, let's go ahead sense. and uh, strap this thing up. We're probably gonna strap it up like up here somewhere towards the back like that. Should be plenty of room. This wheel is not that wide. It's just a spare tire. So let's get this thing done, see if it works. All right guys, so moment of truth. Hopefully this wheel fits. It's gonna make it a lot easier on us. What the heck is that? Is the rotor too big? <laughs> is it? I think so. I think the rotor is just so huge. Dang. It's bigger than the wheel. So we actually found a 16 inch Volkswagen wheel and it didn't work that way because the suspension's all still touching the wheel, but we ended up just flipping it around and just going full uh, savage mode on this and we're just gonna send it like this. It's gonna work, so that's just the only yeah. way we gotta do it. And we're just going straight back anyway, so. Yeah, it's not like we're gonna go rip it or anything. All we need to do is for it to get off the trailer smoothly without damaging anything. Dang, this so. thing just needs a wide body now. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> we got wide wheels, man, it's insane. This is crazy, but hopefully it doesn't like rub up against this trailer here, but other than that, I think we'll be fine, so. Yeah. Let's keep it moving. I guess let's just drop it down and we'll slightly do some turns. And uh, we're gonna try to get this thing started. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll start. Maybe won't, but we got our fingers crossed. And if it does start, we're golden. We are golden. All right, let's see if this thing will start. I'm not gonna say it will, because I don't know if it will, but the battery's all charged up. We gave it a nice charge while we were working on this, and it says it's 100%, so let me grab the key, see if this thing will crank over. Look at this, dude. The handles pop out Look for you? That. that is insane. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, so. Do the thing, man. Do the thing. Make it rip. I hope. I hope it starts. Nothing. Just some clicking. What's it doing? Just clicking. Fasten seatbelt. Ooh. Did something do, did it do something different? That took off the um, e brake. E brake. Yeah. Seatbelt didn't lock up. Nope. Awesome. I guess we're just gonna have to roll it off. Engine system fault. Management, management system. So there's probably, I'm sure there's a cut wire up there for sure for a yeah, fact. Either most a likely. cut wire or a ground. So, hey, so, it's gonna uh, be exciting once we do get it started. So let's just roll this thing off, pop yeah, it I in think neutral. it's in neutral because I just took off the e-brake and there ain't really a neutral button here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So let's start pushing, dude. Dang, that's freaking cool. We just found like secret flaps. Yeah, like, barely can see him. You can barely see him. Really good, but that's the screws that are holding this panel down. And that's where the fuse box should reside. And what is it, just flat heads? Yeah, it looks like just flat heads and we should be good. Man, hopefully we find some blown fuses. Hopefully we do and crank this thing right up, dude. That would be amazing. And then we can just drive it right off. Full send backwards. Full send. <laughs> So let me get the tools and hopefully we can find that fuse. So guys, we couldn't manage to put it in neutral whatsoever. So we actually just went ahead, put some wheel dollies on the rear tires so it doesn't mess up the transmission when we're gonna drag it by this winch. We already got everything hooked up and ready to go. Everything is safe and secure. So it's gonna take a good minute to pull this off because we wanna be very careful. So we're gonna set up a time lapse for you guys and show you guys exactly how we take it off. So we finally unloaded it and got it into the garage. It took a, quite a bit of tries and we tried a bunch of little things to get this thing off as safe as possible without damaging anything else. But it is in the garage and we are happy and it is super late so we're gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so it's actually the next day here and we're gonna do a little bit of a more in-depth walk around because we didn't have much time at the auction in Florida because we had a long drive home and we just wanted to make it here. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and walk around and show you guys pretty much what it's gonna take to get this thing repaired. So clearly up front here, you notice that you need the front bumper cover, the hood, and these parts are expensive, man, but. Oh yeah. But like $2,000 for a fender, hopefully we can find some used parts a lot cheaper. And then once we start taking apart the front end, there's a bunch of miscellaneous pieces. Yeah, it's just, it's just gonna take to take apart this whole entire car, all the damaged pieces, and then stuff is just gonna keep adding up. As you can see under there, radiators and stuff like that. 
But as for the major parts though, the it's major. just the ones that you can see, like the door and the quarter panel. And uh, if you didn't catch that little clip, somebody, some woman. Some woman actually wiped out. Wiped and, and out. I got the video, it was on the news actually. So that's pretty crazy. And it looked like she actually ran into a little pole or something, nothing too crazy, a road sign. Yeah, you can just but. see right there. It was like a little pole that hit it. Oh, Could have been a lot worse, but look luckily. At this. I can put my hand back here, so it's a ho there's a hollow space back there, which is a very good sign because we wouldn't want anything to be damaged behind there. And yeah, just... luckily it didn't really hit the monocoque. Oh. Yeah, you the, the carbon fiber monocoque. You see that it's carbon fiber here. That's legit, dude. But and also this quarter panel, I believe, just unbolts. It's not like your typical quarter panel where it's uh, welded on with what are those called? Uh, I think spot welds. Spot welds. Spot this welds. is kind of like the Viper it unbolts and snaps on there, it's so that awesome. is legit. And another thing that I actually noticed just off of this door it is still aligned here pretty much you, you see what i'm talking about yeah like, all the alignments are actually pretty decent even the quarter panel like if you come here see how it got smashed there but as you can see right here everything is pretty decent obviously it's going to be off by a few inches not as inches. you can see not inches centimeters yeah obviously it's off by millimeters right millimeters. here and uh well here as for too. the rear end though the rear end is just it's perfect flawless, condition dude. flawless nothing too major Nothing at all, honestly. What am yes, I saying, sir. major? Nothing I'm just excited major. about this car, guys. <laughs> we didn't wash the engine bay because we didn't really want to pour water on it, honestly. Yeah, that's true. We just wanted to keep it clean because it didn't start. And we we're trying to work something out, try to get it started. As you've seen, we're on the trailer looking through all the little uh, fuses and stuff yeah. like that. And also, guys, I can't wait to start taking apart this stuff. We are going to have to take it apart to get to that starter because I believe that could be our issue. But if anybody out there is a Lamborghini um, specialist out there, that knows anything about this, we definitely U need your help. UPS guy over there honking for you. UPS man, I'm gonna go take care of go that. Go take care of the UPS guy over there. All right, so moving on to the interior here, everything is actually all there other than this actual seat airbag which is deployed, which is not a big deal because you could actually get these suckers sewed right up. It's just gonna be, I guess. Hopefully if we can just find that airbag, yeah. you know what I mean? Cause I don't wanna buy this whole entire seat. I know that's gonna be a couple thousand. Yeah, it's a black leather with red stitching. So no Alcantara here. Actually is a good thing on these cars because I heard the, their seats, the Alcantara seats actually wear out and really? they get a lot of stains in them. That so make, Yeah, that makes sense. Cause there, there is actually Alcantara just on this door right here. Yeah. But I do like the leather. Can't wait to detail this interior. Yeah, it's pretty dirty in there. Look at that, guys. It Filthy, looks like dude. some water got in there from the door not shutting all the way. But everything is there, dude. Look at this leather dash, freaking red stitching. That is nice. Dude, that interior is... It looks like, it looks like a fighter that's jet. That's what I was there, just dude. about to say. It looks like a dang Like the jet. center console and stuff. That is insane, dude. It's so beautiful in here. I think that's what they were trying to go for. Basically, the Lamborghini is kind of like a fighter jet, but then the Aventador is just complete full-on jet. Dude, that thing is like a military helicopter, the Aventador. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm glad uh, I'm glad it's not too bad in here. I'm glad it's not a dash airbag. That would have been a nightmare. Yeah, especially the door. That's what I'm thinking about. You see how it got hit and the inside of the door is actually pretty Still good. So, all here. so it saved like our moldings, our door panel, and all this uh, accessories right here that we're gonna need for probably our new door because that's not gonna come with it, right? Look at this, guys. Check this out. This is still a good piece right here. Look at that. Yeah. This is a whole separate piece. I think it's good. They have a little crack right here. Rocker panel does unbolt. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's what I love does about it. Does it say Huracan on it? It sure does. Oh, dang. That's legit. Huracan. That is but, yeah. awesome, dude. I can't wait to start tearing this thing apart, but you guys are going to just have yeah. to wait. I really want to see how they put this car together, how this car is made, and how it's different from any other vehicle. I'm sure they all got their differences, but most cars are just the same so and you guys are going to go right along with us exactly. in, in this process we'll show you guys exactly everything basically everything how we're going to take it apart everything we're going to learn together Dude, on how our, this is our first exotic and we're just we're not afraid to dig right into it so viper was kind of exotic too yeah it was a little that was that one was pretty difficult and as for this side man it is just absolutely beautiful it was just untouched it's flawless but moving on to the interior here, let me show you guys what's going on in here. It was kind of dark when we recorded. No, you can kind of see it a little bit good. This is just the driver's side right here. Look at that, man. It's so filthy in there, but we're going to clean it up, as I mentioned before. And it does have Seven, just... 7,000 miles. 7,000 miles. Let me, let me get in here and mess None. with these controls here. You got the key on you? Oh, no, I don't. But dude, just check that out, dude. So sick. You got the Corsa Sport. And then Strata, 
You got all these switches in here. We'll figure out what they are later on, but it's just amazing what's going on in here. This is like my second time sitting in a Lambo because we did sit in one when we were picking up the Hellcat, so it's just amazing to actually finally own one and get to work on one. Yeah, that's the fun part is working on it. Yeah. it may, some people may think the fun part is driving, driving it, but, it, but the, for us, the fun part is actually taking it apart and working on it. See what it's made of, you know what I mean? See what these Italians put together for us here. So that's pretty much gonna be a wrap for today's video. Be sure to stay tuned to see what these Americans do to this Italian car. Also guys, be sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also guys, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe because we're gonna bring you some awesome content. If you wanna support us and this channel, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to stay tuned and we'll catch you next time. Peace.